What's going on YouTube? Giosna right here. So in today's video, we're taking a look at an application called Thinktone, which allows you to basically have a secondary or multiple other phone numbers on your device, even without a SIM card. So they're basically temporary or digital phone numbers that you can choose from any country you want. Now, Thinktone is available for both Android and iOS. As you can see over here, it's available in the App Store and you can get it. So it says free calls and text for everyone. Call and text unlimitedly to any number. And yes, they do have various offers and promotions and stuff like that to get credits inside the application so that yes you can end up using the application for free if you watch ads or whatever but you can buy credits too if you don't want to do that they have various rates in here you can see exactly for each country how many cents per minute and stuff like that and the cents here are basically in dingtone credit so basically you can get a full number for any country and then of course you will be able to use it as a secondary number why would you do that well for many reasons like privacy and stuff like that maybe you want to give the phone number to people on discord and stuff like that your body you want to talk with and stuff but you don't want to give them your real number with the real prefix which would tell them where you live or maybe you have customers from across the globe you want to give them a phone number but you don't want to give your real phone number there are many reasons why you would want a secondary phone number like this they can be suspended at any moment you can delete them you can block them you can basically get a new phone number at any second while with a sim card you can't i mean you can get a new sim card sure but it's a whole procedure you have to go to your carrier swap it pay for another sim card and so on lock the other number while with Dingtone you just go in the application and get a new phone number. Those are very good for temporary or privacy phone numbers but let's see at first if it works. We have here a website that allows us to call any number we want. I already have my phone number ready so let me go ahead here on my phone and as you can see I have my phone screencasted to the computer so you can see what I'm doing and I'm opening the Dingtone application. Here you have your messages and stuff like that, your contacts, you can call whatever number you want, it's going to be an internet call or voice over IP and of course you can select which country the number you're trying to call is and they have the prefixes if you don't already know it but you can type it directly and you can see here how many credits I have and so on then here you can see my phone number but I can get as many as I want however I already have a Canadian phone number valid for one entire year you can continue after that you can pay for another year and stuff like that or you can just remove it and this is their free credits thing there is a daily checkup watching videos stuff like that and you can get credits in order to use the application if you don't want to pay for a plan that's actually quite neat a lot of games do that they give you credits or gems or whatever for watching an ad here you get real credits for calling people so I have a Canadian phone number you can see here it's my primary number and this is basically the phone number for Canada but I can get another phone number for basically any country I want the best sellers are Canada United Kingdom Belgium and stuff like that last time I chose United States but there are numbers for Romania Denmark Australia Czech Republic Puerto Rico Austria Sweden Poland Netherlands there are a lot of numbers you can get depending on where you want your number to be and to somebody calling you it really looks like you have a number from that country now I would definitely not use these for any sensitive stuff like signing in for a social media account or whatsapp or something or talking any secret stuff like you know workplace secrets or whatever I wouldn't use it for that kind of stuff I would use it for like you know normal conversations whatever signing up for websites that you don't want to give them the number but they force you to when you sign up and stuff like that some may refuse to use it some websites do not allow this kind of numbers but many do this is my phone number and as you can see we can do call forwarding if you want to to your actual number or we can suspend this number delete it and so on we can block calls and messages if we get bombarded and of course we also have the voicemail and auto replay function if you want to automatically replay to sms with something you can do so there is also voicemail for this so it's a real phone number right in your pocket i'm not even connected to my sim card it, it's in airplane mode only the wi-fi is on let's try to call this number though to see if it works here we can basically specify our phone number we want to call i'm gonna say canada and my phone number is this one over here as you can see it's basically the same number from here i typed it over here and we're gonna call it and let's see what's going on i'm gonna move it to the side all right it's calling and as you can see, my device has now a call. If I answer this call, it's probably going to create a lot of noise, but I'm gonna do so anyway. Yeah, uh, yeah, that uh, creates a lot of interference because it's very close by. But you got the idea, the phone number works and you can actually place a call, which means that you can definitely have a secondary phone number right in your pocket. All right, so we tested being called, but let's also test 
calling a number. So I'm going to go back here in Dink Tone and I'm actually going to call Apple Support. So I'm going to paste their number because I have it here and it's from United States. And I'm just going to press call over here and select the number I want to use the call. And as you can see, it's my Canadian number over here. So I'm going to use this one and it's calling. Please wait while we connect your phone call. All right, they put me on hold. Calling. Welcome to Apple. Calls are recorded for evaluation, to train personnel, and to improve contact center technologies. All right. I'm an automated system that can handle complete sentences. So tell me, how can I help you today? Si vous voulez aider l'assistance en français, s'il vous plaît, dites français. I want to check out my iCloud account. Okay, I'll get you right over to our technical support department. All right, so as you can see, it works pretty fine. So that was a call directly to Apple support from Dingtone. Now, of course, with the free credits, you don't even have to buy the credits if you don't want to. The fastest way to get credits is to connect brands or watch videos over here. But there is also a daily checkup, which basically gives you some credit. I'm gonna press here, check in now. And as you can see, it shows this little thing. It says, I earned one credit, check back tomorrow. And you can earn two credits for posting on Twitter or earn 20 credits per friend invited. If you don't want to pay for credits, you can definitely get them for free. It may not be as easy and you may not get as many as paying for them, but still they are free. They are enough to make a quick phone call or send a quick SMS message or whatever. They do have paid plans if you don't want to put up with this. You can get 200 credits for $4.99 or the largest package is 1000 credits for $20.99. You can remove the ads too with $1.99 a month. But yeah, it's pretty easy for you to basically get how much you need. You don't need to get like huge packages of credits and stuff like that. Let's check out the messages. Yes, this is how it looks like when you get messages from somebody. These are from the Dingtone team. But yeah, it says, do you want to block unwanted calls? And of course it allows us to block people if you don't want calls from them and so on. There are some advanced features that I found actually quite interesting. One of which is the walkie talkie. You go here to advanced features, walkie talkie, and it's working exactly like a walkie talkie with your friends. And then there is also the conference call. If you want multiple people or you want to start like some sort of meeting, like a Zoom meeting, but without video, you can do a conference call, you can schedule it for a specific time, you can start with instant meeting and create a conference with up to 1000 callers. So it's actually quite a great and neat little application. Now, as I said, while the application works and while the phone numbers are legitimate phone numbers, they may not work to sign in on some websites. So please don't use them for that. Don't use them for sensitive stuff like signing in for a bank account or an Apple ID or whatever. Don't use them for signing up for IDs. You can use them for your Discord group if you want to give them your phone number but not your real one and an important thing is that the phone numbers do expire so for example I have this phone number over here it says in here that it's valid until 24 April 2023 which means that if I don't renew it I will lose access to it and it may be attributed in the future to another person so that's why I'm saying do not sign up to any sensitive stuff with the phone numbers but if you keep on renewing them you get to keep them forever so yeah definitely a great and neat little application that seems to work fine you can get it from the App Store it's available right here is this application Dinktone. You search for Dinktone, and it's actually quite popular too. They see here that uh, it's been released in 2012, and apparently in 2019 they had 100 million users, which is actually quite incredible. But yeah, applications like this are actually quite interesting because you can get a secondary phone number and so on. So this is the application. We can see pretty good ratings. There are some bad ratings from people who don't know how to use it and let their phone numbers expire, and then they were surprised that other people got their number. That happens with normal carriers too. If you don't pay for your number, they will terminate your number and it will end up being reused in the future. So yeah, if you want to keep your number, you should definitely keep in mind that you have to renew it. But yeah, that's basically it. That's Dinktone. Definitely check it out if you need a secondary phone number or a burner phone number and so on. So thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Peace out.